Hello there, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to another episode here in Past Easter Skin. It's an absolute pleasure to have you. Thank you very much for joining us. Today, we're going to be playing a little bit of Earth's Dawn with me and the crew. <laughs> we're going to be checking out Earth's Dawn. It's a hack and slash em up in the same vein as, say, Dragon's Crown or uh, Odin Sphere. It's uh, a scrolling left and right kind of a. Uh, it, it could be. It'd be almost like a storybook experience, but in a sci fi setting. With some impressive kind of uh, add-ons and weapons and RPG elements built into the character, pretty much the premise is the world has fallen to a enemy monster kind of species that actually is either through asteroids or through through revenge on revenge of mutation on Earth. We're actually being fought back and actually being slowly pushed away from survival. And uh, Earth's Dawn is obviously our chance to actually recover. Now, I was just checking to see if I actually was going to be doing the Japanese dub of his outfit. Uh, the interesting thing about it is that you can go and repeat missions over and over again to build up materials for actually doing your RPG elements build up. But whenever you do so, there is a timer that counts down between each of the next chaotic events. Essentially, the next time there's going to be an incursion by the enemies that you have to go and fight back. And that forces you through on to the next story. So you have to be a little bit strategic about what missions you're going to do just if you're looking for a particular item. But it also allows you to kind of like work your way up and build yourself up in the gaps in between if you want to grind or if you want to just waste time to get yourself to the next combat bit. Interaction with diversions? That's a great way to actually make use of your soldiers. Hard to watch uh, some of the lip flappy movements on the animation, but I actually like the style in this. It looks. It's mildly. Th it, it, it's, I don't know. Is it something in the in the unearthly kind of like look to it? That little bit of uncanny valleyness that actually I enjoy this design. But I love the actual uh, design work you're doing with it. I commented on this whenever I was how to make the super mechanism even stronger. Can't tell you how excited I am. Um, it reminds me of those visual novel games that were coming out really, really recently. Uh, that you have the concert characters constantly in movement whenever they're just sitting there looking at you. As uh, so Doki Doki kind of does it, um, a few of the only ones I did on uh, on our Made in Japan episodes do it, and I actually like that. It it's actually just using squish and movement to actually make animation appear or breathings. Oh, this uh, indicates the threat level. Knight, Baron A, Baron Count Duke. Uh, so they're actually going with royalty in that one. Yeah, uh, so this is actually what our characters look like, the actual combatants. Right. Let's see. Super mechanism and uh, seed unit. Uh, uh, cells are injected. Uh, oh, right. Cells are injected into enhanced truth, granting them increased strength through temporary changes in the body. An injection device for high injecting EBE cells into the human body. An activation accelerator to activate EBE cells, and a heat dissipator to tackle the heat generated by the abrupt physical changes. Physical changes after oh differ depending on the type of amount of EBE cells injected. Well, that's good to know. Uh, top right corner, so they, yes, you can see that there actually is like 12 days. New weapons are ready for development, so we're just going to take, it frustrates me that that actually is like a proper timer that's coming down, I'm like, oh god, 12 hours until I'm going to die again. Uh, let's take a look in weapon customization here. So this all comes down while you're actually going into your crafting and stuff. I mean, obviously 12 hours is more than enough to get through sections, but um, you have to have parts for every one of these to actually upgrade your gear. Um, you know, Anything worth getting? Thunder resistant gun suit. Hmm. I don't need anything yet for that. But I do like woman's glasses. I want a pair of those. I have the points for those. I'll be wearing those. I'm gonna get those. I'm gonna, I'm, I'll get those. Oh yeah, that's right. You can actually give it effects. Well, lightning. Uh, we're gonna do lightning CPI. There we go. Give it a lightning effect with the actual the rest of the ones. Boom. That way it actually has at least it actually has some kind of benefit because I'm pretty sure it is. The you guys ask him what game is this? It's Earth Dawn. I've said it like four times. <laughs> Earth Dawn. 
uh, brawny glasses, all good. So um, I probably don't know why I'm upgrading my swords just yet because I don't have the parts for it. Uh, weapon enhancement. Can I enhance any of the ones I do have? Ooh, can do that. And that's actually adding bits and pieces to it. We'll worry about that afterwards. We'll just jump into combat as is because you, there is a wall. <laughs> I mean, that's whenever you start going into like a wall of customization, which is going to be crazy. At least uh, doing the skills, it's not quite as much of a deep end. I would love to actually get more into that with this. Mmm, attack question. Mmm, mmm. Where's my skill setting? I'm doing this. There we go, skill slots. So the way skills are actually done in this is that you actually have a... Ooh, yeah, there we go, zoom in. You actually have boosts and lists of things you can do, and you actually add them and change to each other as you level up. So here you actually have jumps, I have double jumps, I have boost in strengths, or add one to your boost. Uh, sliding is actually a skill. Each of these you unlock as you level up and you select which one. I have to break fall so I don't land badly. Boost the attack. See that they link over to things over here. Uh, grind down. That to my main combo. And that. Oh. Yeah, there we go. Um, ba -ba -bam. tech. My technique will be increased for. Yes. Gun grunt shot. Real throw. I'd be using my air a lot more often than anything else. And the rest of it can actually be customized later on. Obviously, I'm low level. I've only got a couple of things I can actually customize. Let's jump into a battle and show you what the gameplay is actually like. Oh, oh I'm madly excited. Yeah. Um, anything I have an S on, I've already completed, isn't it? Yeah. So... This one? Pretty sure it was this one I need. Well, the, anything that's actually in the yellow section is the mandatories. Within the last hour, we have received an initial investigation report from the Advance Network. They're reporting groups of EB in the underground network, including EB Cluster. It also looks like EB are having an effect on the terrain. They're going to need to rebuild the underground network. Earth Dawn. Earth Dawn. That's what name it is. You can't question the anime. The anime's good, man. Yay, my character. Ah, <laughs> the what? This is actually the gameplay style. Um, you'll see momentarily whenever we actually get into the tunnels. Like she zooms out a bit more. just a combination of square button and R button that actually is the combat. It feels very simple to play. It still feels quite satisfying from punch to punch. Uh-oh. 
Bad land sharks. Ah. Ah, god damn it. I don't know how to fight these things. Ah. Ah, <laughs> there we go. I also was on very ineffective in that combat. I'm pretty sure there's actually some way I could probably lift those guys out of the ground a little bit easier. <laughs> Do you like the design? It is, it very is tracer last. <laughs> yeah, these um, blocks and stuff that are in the way, they actually mark alternate routes that you would unlock with a probably later skill where you can actually smash through the ground and stuff. But it's a bit Metroidvania esque, so you're actually going to be using similar map locations over and over again, mattering on what kind of like. Um, Mission your butt ahead of you. So as you can see, oh, there we go. I'm actually having to. Sorry. I was actually just shooting that bat there just to see if I could actually, what my range was on it. So we're going to hopefully end up. Oh, great enemy encounter. Can't get away from them. Too many hits. Bouncy, bouncy, bouncy. Keep me floating. And down you go. Two, three, four, five, six. Ah, it's actually I've got five gym boosts to actually going from. Yeah, I pretty much pushed all my boosts to make it easier for me to get through places quickly. Oh shit! Oh, not good. There goes an arm, there goes a head, and down he goes. Mission clear! He's a very angry lady, that's why she's fighting for her reality. Oh, the other guys, the soldiers? Yeah, they do absolutely nothing. Uh, clear about using exceed, use a throwing item, uh, recover gas cell, recover items, use them. Yep, so good combos, all done, Dustin. There you go! That's how you do it! So I'll actually jump in, and as you can see, the timer's dropped from 12 to um, 8 hours. Um, as you get closer to the time, as you complete more missions, it actually does that. Do so. Right, what have we got here? Special train, enemy assault, fastest wins in New York, lacking supplies, simple recovery mission. You can see the difficulties are listed here. Um, if we go with the lower level ones, I'll not get as much stuff, but. Okay, nice gift. Paralysis, resistance. Freeze resist, death resistance. Well, I think I will take dash first. So dash, um, when's it gonna find me? Dash is a bonus I want. I want to be able to dash. Uh, Go on. Come on, keep moving! One, two, three, four, five. Oh, come on. I don't know where it is I need to be going.
If I don't have to actually get into combat, I'm not going to get into combat here. I'm just going to essentially try and get across this level as fast as I can. I think that's the reason why I've got a two minute limit. Because if I've got two minutes, I'm not going to have time to fight everything along the way here. Where am I going? Well, I'm not going that way. Imagining I have to go up from here because if I go this way, it's not the position that I'm actually meant to be going in. So like, like I'm, I'm assuming my target is actually to go where it actually is red. Boom, that's the upwards way. Got to go in this way instead. Keep on running. Boom! Break those blocks. Oh, shit. No, keep moving, keep moving, keep moving, keep moving. Ignore these guys. Don't gotta fight them. The fact that the rats the soldiers actually do have... Ugh. It almost feels like I'm actually repeating the exact same path I just took. It is. Um, I'm hoping this is the right way. I'm hoping this is the right thing I should be doing. Can I bring up the map? Definitely not. Oh! Alright, I've got 26 seconds left. I've got 26 seconds to go. I've got 26 seconds to go. Is this where I need to go? I don't know if that's ever I need to go. There, go. Mission cleared with 20 Stay seconds left to spare. I can dash my way across that. Soldiers do nothing. The, I do nothing. We all did nothing. Completely worthless. <laughs> it was just a recon mission. At least then actually I unlocked a skill. So there actually is uh, race levels. There is ones where you have to actually fight through people. There's multiple things you can do. Different ways to complete in the same section. Obviously we're still in the exact same place as well. So I'm actually running through the same cave system from one game to the next. Or one, from one mission to the next. I want to see if we can get out into somewhere else. The New York Battlefront is actually where we're starting off. Um, be here. That would be health increase. Can health be useful? Boost. Another boost or HP. Ah, I'll just go for the uh, HP boost is always useful. Having the health is the important thing. You need to stay alive. So I'm assuming recovery mission means I'm actually having to go for uh find samples. Okay, okay. That worked for me. Yeah, I'm only curious about the fact that uh, oh well, at least it does mark it on the map. I was curious going like, if it doesn't mark on the map, am I going to know where I need to be? All of the monies. That's right, I didn't equip the dash move either, so <laughs> I can't actually do the dash I just unlocked. Great. Might have to do that afterwards. Fuck you! Ah, so you got all these places to search. Back attacks! Always the best guy. Fuel, not what I was looking for. Oh, I found the thing I was looking for. Yay! I have to keep searching just. Boom, boom. Alright, so pretty much I think you are, from actually being able to play through these tier 3 missions, we're going to get through to a boss, I imagine, in the next one. At least I can give you some idea what the bigger scale guys look like rather than these interesting but yet small opponents. Do you know what this reminds me of? Game wise, is actually, um,. God Eater, in a lot of ways. God Eater, a Rage Burst, and God Eater that actually came out on the consoles a while back. The, um... Ooh, I need to... Death to you! Boom, boom, boom. Um, yes, the God Eater series of games where you actually kind of, like, went into mission areas and just uh, fought through a series of large creatures that were gods. Essentially, that's why you had the God Eater with, with, your, with your weapons. 
I enjoyed that series, the animated version behind it, and I actually enjoyed the um, the video game. Uh, whenever I got the demo of it a while back, I played the demo of God Eater Burst 1 and I think Resurrection 2. One of the first games I actually kind of did a um, cold or a made in Japan on because it was a demo from the Hong Kong PS Enigos. But the um, the game style is very, very different because this plays more like Odin Sphere or, say, a um, Dragon's Crown game. But the environment reminds me of God uh, of God Eater. That's that, that's what this world feels like encapsulating. It takes those two things and puts them into one place. Also, while having my uh, own yes, little anime wife. Is that, is that everything? Yeah, mission completed. Yay! I got everything from that one. Down to two hours. Right, well, better customize your skills. Get that dash added on my extra hell at HP. Um. Bloom, bloom, bloom. Big long list there. Two slots left. This. Oh, burn resist. Ah, right. So actually, I, so as you uh, unlock those things, you don't get them intrinsically. You have to be selecting them individually. But useful, like particularly if you're fighting, going to going to be fighting a lot of fire type enemies, that kind of thing. Uh, key boost for all there. Yeah, get those. This sword mastery level two. Okay, um, gun mastery level one. Those. Oh, rare search, yeah! Damn right, I'm taking that. So I actually had a whole bunch of skills that I unlocked there that I hadn't completed. What is this? He actually linking? Yeah, so. Yeah, so you can actually link the ones that are on that side. Uh, boom. And we're taking dash attack. Boom! And there's dash there. Yes, so double tapping in a direction will get me to move forward. Boom, that's everything. Um, I might as well do the burn resistance, but I've still got space left. I'm actually using up the whole thing. So let's go down. And that's what it is. It's actually linking. I was using triangle to link these things so actually you can get more power between them. That's interesting. 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 All right, what else we got here? Burn resistance, burn you're down here. Oh, no, look. Plus one. Burn resist. And I still have a couple left to burn. That's alright. Not too bad. Fine for me. I don't mind. Oh, wait. Skill slot? So that one? Oh, now I get it. There's one for each. Uh, so you can actually choose different skill slots for different things, but well, I might as well just turn on all the ones for this one. I was curious there as to why um, I had multiple slots that were actually unpicked. I was wondering why I hadn't actually selected all the skills I could do, and I was like, why the hell would I have not taken every ability that I can do? It's because I'd actually like multiple slots of them. That's no problem at all. Why is that what I've done? I've been questioning it. I'm just going to leave it as it was. Don't know why there's actually going to be one more in one of them than the other. I think it might be because I was using the links instead. Hmm. Whip. Who whip? One else there. One else there. One else there. One else there. Hmm. Something else there. <laughs> you can wear two pairs of glasses? I can't actually wear two pairs of glasses. Double glasses. And uh, nothing else, right? So I literally have not crafted anything else for the new mission since. Nothing's going to show me that I actually have improved them over the ones that I currently have. I mean, that's the problem. I can't compare it. Super Sadoom. So can I do a better gun? Uh, now, see, I've not seen this, but this. There you that tracks the enemy. Ooh, ooh, I like the sound of that though. Weaker. Eh, uh, damn it. Uh, uh. 
I'm on a tight suit. If I'm using currently, yep. I might go a life suit just to have. Easy to make, and I've got plenty of the materials for it. Why not? Excellent. And I can't improve that armor at all, can I? Uh, that's probably what I have. Let's see, uh, clip armor, armor, armor. Uh, anti bisque armor, yeah, that's all I have. Ah, uh, buggerty damn. I have the right materials for the rest of that. If all I can do is enhance things otherwise. Ah, uh, so you actually get that for cash, I suppose. Let's increase the effectiveness of my belief. Ah, that's how you level up and actually is certain items given a certain amount of bonus to it. So yeah, that's that's all I'm worth figuring out later on. Again, that's all I'm gonna worry about now. Um change from tight suit to a life suit. And we don't have any accessories yet. Works for me! That's rock and roll. Me and my double glasses. Right, let's rock and roll. If we move an elite thread, it has to be something important. Defeat the target enemy. Deep one. I don't want a deep one in my face. I don't want it to get too deep. If it's too deep in me, uh, it's not going to be coming back out again. We can go deep, but we can get no sleep, but we be up all night. Till the early light, we can go deep, but we don't get no sleep. And because we're up all night, till the morning light. Mm. Yeah, I got that cheese in my head. Flushy flash, down you go. Oh, that felt so good. It feels good to actually, like, uh, essentially know what you're doing with the combo, essentially. Oh, is this where I need to be? Deep one? Be there. Deep one, can you hear me? Whoa! You fuck! This is going a lot harder than I expected.
That, uh, so mission failed. That, uh, I was doing nothing to him. God damn. So we won't be fighting the deep one then. Jesus. Huh. So yeah, um, they do have bolt sponge bosses in this as well. So um, I'm assuming I needed to actually level up a fair bit higher. I'm using a level 2 sword. I'm using a level 1 gun. Obviously, I'm going to get my ass beat in a lot of ways. So, yeah. I, saw, oh, I doubtful I was going to actually make it reasonably well in that combat. But I wasn't doing too bad. Either. I got the pattern down. It's just like that would have taken forever to do. One hit down and then one hit again afterwards. So, uh, yeah. There actually is a challenge in this rather than actually being me just whomping my way through a couple of fights. Uh, I hope you guys actually enjoyed watching Earth's Dawn. It's a... I enjoy the mechanics of the game, I enjoy the depth of its customization for the combat, I can see where the grind would be involved in doing so. If you don't like the animation style, it's not going to appeal to you in a lot of ways, but if you like Dragon's Crown, if you like uh, Odin Sphere Lefthizer, uh if you like uh, God Eater, then I highly recommend this. That's a, that's a, if I can go equate it to three titles that I actually personally hold in reasonably high esteem, I, there's nothing wrong with this game at all. I highly recommend it. It's available on the PlayStation Network. It's available on Steam. It's available on all of the actual different platforms as it is at the moment. Uh, go and check out Rising Star Games and check out their copy of Earth's Dawn. That was actually a good track. So, um, yeah, guys, thank you very much for watching. If you haven't been watching this on YouTube, uh, hopefully there'll be boxes appearing around my head at any point now. Right over here, there'll be a playlist. Right over there will be the most recent video on the channel. And right over here will be a video just for you based on the YouTube of analytics of the things you do on YouTube and all the things that you enjoy. I hope you actually enjoy yourselves and check out the videos there. Also, on the right-hand side is the subscribe button. If you get a chance, be like one of these people right there. Subscribe, join the channel, follow me in the future, and I hope to see you all in the next video. All right? Cheers. Bye.